Hi guys, my name's Stuart and welcome back to Astro Shed. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video and this isn't the type of video I thought I was going to be doing um, for a while but uh, it's going to be a review. It's an item I bought for myself second hand off a guy who was getting out of the hobby and selling off all his kit uh, and I decided to buy it uh, to use for my scope so it's completely unbiased review. I've not been sent the item from a manufacturer or anything like that to do a review it's been bought with my own funds and i had every intention of using it on the uh, setup here to my right uh, but due to some of the issues that i'm going to be talking about in this video i've decided not to use it and i'm going to go with uh, a different version a different uh, manufacturer the deep sky dad version actually so this review is for a flat field panel and motor so an automated flat field system comprises of the Prima Lucia Giotto smart field generator flat panel and the Alto one motor that goes with it now these can be bought separately you can use the flat field generator on its own um, by just using the thumb screws on the unit and fitting over the end of your scope or it can be used in conjunction with the motor uh, as a completely automated system so you can buy it as a kit like this and it's 740 pounds for the two items or as i say you can buy it separately um, and just use the flat field panel on its own this is what it looks like made up just fits together with one bolt and there's also a, a location pin which i haven't got in at the moment which sits in there so you've got the motor part on the bottom, the flat field generator top. There's a three holes there for the three nylon thumb screws. So you can use it standalone on the end of your scope. USB-C 12 volt power connected to your hub or your computer. Uh, and you can use it that way. Uh, I bought it as a full kit, like I say, second hand. So fitted together like this, you have pass-through cables. So you have two cables from the generator down into the side of the motor and then out of the other side of the motor to your computer or whatever you're using to power or you know usb or whatever um build quality it's pretty solid it's a chunky item it's quite weighty as well which is something i noticed it's certainly very solid it's pretty well made it looks like a, a molded type of plastic of some sort um, but like i say it is on it is on the weighty side um, the cables the pass-through cables that go from here to here confuse me a bit because they've got USB-C on there but it goes into a USB-B port on the motor and then it's USB-C again out to the computer. I don't know why they've mixed and matched these type of cables or why they just didn't stick to USB-C for them all but that, that's what they've done so you know that it, it is what it is. Um, now this unit like i said before it is weighty if you are going to put it on the end of your scope one thing you've got to consider is balance because it is going to add some considerable weight it's heavier than i thought it was going to be it's the motor more than anything obviously the flat field panel there's nothing in that but it is heavy build quality i was talking about the way the panel's fitted it looks like it's sealed in i don't know whether you can see that on the camera with some like black silicon sealant not the neatest job and if ever you needed to change the panel for a reason you know you'd have to dig all that out it's not like it's just held in with any type of clamps or screws the flat field panel itself superb can't fault that does exactly what it says on the tin lovely very even illuminated flat field takes flats as good as any other panel i've used can't fault that at all it does have a wi-fi capability you can use it with an app they provide an app or it can just be used via your PC with either their Eagle computer or by your own computer using an ASCOM driver or again using their app. I've used, tried it through Nina and it works perfectly right with the ASCOM driver and letting Nina do all the automated stuff for your flats. Absolutely no problems at all. So I've got no problems with the flat panel itself. The build quality is, like I say, it's pretty good. It is chunky. It's weighty. The cables, they should have stuck to USB-C all around. I don't know why they've... Also, the pass-through cables are a little bit long. They do have a, 
a clamp here for the two cables as they come down through the clamp and into there but they are a bit long they could have done with being a bit shorter even though you've got to take into account that this opens all the way around um, so obviously the cables do need to be a certain length you get all the cables with it um, and the box now that's where it ends for me as regards well good points and not many issues this is where the issues really start you buy this for £740 as a kit, £269 on its own for that and about £465 for the motor. But as a kit, £740, which I think is very expensive, very expensive indeed, considering the Deep Sky Dad version for this scope is £350. So it's more than double the price. Like I say, this is the 150mm version. It won't fit a 150mm scope. It's 150mm diameter there so you do sealed it needs to be 150 or less so i think this will fit around a 120 mil uh, objective lens size scope so it's a little bit confusing there so obviously this will fit a range of different scopes so it has got that on its side uh, rather than just fitting one particular scope it'll fit any scope that's got a, a dew shield of less than 150 they do a full range of these lots of different ones um, they even do them for um, SCTs as you can see there on the back of that box and they're pretty big they do a range of different sizes and I think the motors come I think there's three different size motors this is the Alto 1 motor um, and this fits the flat field panels up to 220 millimeters so if you are buying them as, as a kit okay if you're buying them as separate items and you buy one before the other just make sure you get the right motor for the size flat panel that you've potentially already bought. So you get this home and then you want to fit it to your scope and you realise pretty much straight away that it's not going to fit. You're going to need more hardware potentially. As you can see on this scope, I've got a quite a long dovetail rail. It's actually 19 inches. Now I could have moved it forward on the rings because this fits to the dovetail rail, the rail needs to be within about an inch of the end of your tube. This is a 19 inch rail, like I say, I could have moved it forward, but it would have meant losing my Pegasus box off the back. I'd have had to have removed that to slide the rail forward because I'm not going to use it now. I haven't bothered to do any of that. But if you haven't got a rail that long or you can't move the rail you've got right forward, then you're going to buy another rail, which I think is, is a bit much. So potentially another £120 for a, you know, a 20, 21 inch rail. You can use a Vixen. Uh, there's no problem using a Vixen rail. But even if you've got a rail that's potentially long enough and comes within an inch, you still then need one of these. Now, this is actually designed to work with this exact clamp. The whole pattern there is designed for this clamp to be bolted on with four bolts. And then the whole thing, once that's bolted on, will just slide onto the dovetail rail at the end of your scope. So this you've got to buy if you haven't already got 60 quid. Potentially a longer rail you're going to need, another £100, £120, so that's potentially another £180 you might have to spend just to get this fitted onto your scope, which I think is a bit much when you're paying £740 for it. I think at the very least this should be included. It's Prima Lucia brand as well. I think they should include this with the motor. Obviously you don't need it with the, if you're just using the flat span. They should include this with the motor, save you £60, because you can't do anything without it. And then you've still potentially got to buy a longer rail if you haven't got one that you can use. This is a dual clamp, like I say, it will fit a Vixen rail as well. But I do think it's a bit much having to spend potentially another £180 to £200 on hardware just to get the thing fitted when you've already spent so much on the item itself. But, you know, it is what it is. That's just my opinion. Um, like I say, it's, it's a solid unit, well made, chunky, heavy, flat panel, can't fault it, does exactly what it's supposed to do. But for me, I'm not going to use it for a couple of reasons. One, I don't want to be buying another rail because this one isn't long enough as it is. I want to leave that on the back. I don't want to be taking that off, so I can't move the rail forward, which means I need a much longer one. I don't want to spend the money. Um... I already had this anyway because I, I bought a pair and I use one for my uh, weight that goes on the front. 
rather than me sliding the scope and hitting the roof I have a, a balance weight on the front so I did already, already have a pair of those so um, but like I say it's not going to fit my system now I've decided to leave it as is so I'm probably going to sell this on uh, and go with the deep sky dad version but it is a good unit fits a variety of scopes make sure you get the right size uh, does exactly what it's supposed to do but just beware of the weight and the fact that you may need to spend extra money on hardware to get it to fit on your setup but as regards the flat flats themselves absolutely no problem at all can't fault that um, but like I say it's a completely unbiased review I bought the item myself it's mine uh, but I'm not going to use it now I'm probably going to sell it on but I hope anybody out there is thinking of buying one of these uh, whether it be for a remote observatory or just in your back guard, garden observatory like mine then I hope this was of some use if so think about giving it a thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you in the next video clear skies thanks for watching